Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. And today I worked on my Evergreen Angel, so I started from here and worked my way down to her dress. And all I need to do now is to just fill in, but I do need another darker green, but I ran out of that color. It was this color of the um, middle section of her dress, but I'll just use this and fill in for both symbols. Um, because I only need to do a couple of stitches for that darker green color. And I don't think it'll make much of a difference, even if I use the same color for both symbols. And I'm planning on FFOing this next week, um, so I really want to get all of the all of the stitching done by this weekend. So I'm going to I'm going to be working on this every day. And I thought this will take another two or three days to finish, but I forgot to consider the time that I'll be spending back stitching for this because there's a bit of back stitching on her dress, but also her hair. So. Yeah, but I'm hoping to finish this by this Sunday night, and it's already Friday night, so we'll see. But so far, it's looking really good. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but in real life, it's really sparkly, because there's a quite a bit of krennic in this, so along the edges here, it's all krennic, and it's really sparkly and really pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this side of her dress first, and then move on to this side and work on her sleeve and her dress. But... Yeah, so that's all the update on this one, and I'm also going to start a new project today, and it's one of my own designs, so let me bring that out. So I'm going to start this project, and I'm calling this design with love, and this might look familiar to you because this design is actually a free needle minder, or one of the free needle minders that I'm giving out to my customers um, on Etsy. So when I was drawing this, I thought this would look nice as a small ornament, so I turned this into a cross stitch chart. And I'm finally getting around to start it. And let me show you how it's charted real quick. So this will be available as a PDF chart in my Etsy shop. And this will be the PDF file you'll be receiving. It'll be just one page, maybe with a cover photo, um, um, I don't know. But it's a black and white symbol chart and the stitch count is 82 by 80. So not that big. And for colors, I charted this with the blue and gray just like the needle minder. So these are the two DMC that I chose, 3750 and 452. And I really like the blue and gray combination, so I kept across this chart that way. But you can change it to different colors. So I charted this with just two colors, and the image is pretty simple. So you can easily change colors the way you want to. Um, like you can change the banner in a different color than the hand, um, the heart could be a different color, the letters can be different too, um, you can have different color leaves maybe, but I'm going to stitch it with blue and gray because I really like this combination, but let me show you what fabric I'll be using first. So I want this to be a very small ornament, so I got the highest count fabric that I could get, and this is a 46 count linen, um, it says it right here. So 46 count, bergen white, I think. Um, so I'm super excited. I never tried 46 count before, and this is my first time trying it. So I'll be doing, I'll be using that, and then for floss, instead of DMC, I'm still going to stitch mine with blue and gray, but with coloring cotton. So I chose these two. So this is called sapphire, and one of the new ones, and then this one is called medieval, and. I, I think I used this in my Adams Family, I think, but I really like the variegation on this one. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this tonight and I'm hoping to finish this um, pretty soon so that I could FFO this along with my Evergreen Angel next week. So yeah, I'm going to start this now and I'll come back and show you my progress in a little bit. So I think I worked on this maybe for an hour and this is how much I got done. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I love the colors, but also the size of it. Um, I was a little worried that it was going to be a little big because I'm trying to make a small ornament, so I don't want this to be too big. But I think it'll still be about 4 inches, and I think that's a good size for an ornament. So I'm still going to continue with this, and I still have a park thread here, but let me zoom in so that you can see, um, see the stitches a little better. So yeah, I'm really liking this 46 count fabric. It's almost, it just feels like 40 count when I'm stitching, but when I feel the fabric with my fingers, it's less um, bumpier 
or textury than for uh, 40 count more smoother um, it's a very subtle difference but it feels more like a regular fabric than a cross stitching fabric um, probably because the weave is much tighter or smaller and I really like that so super happy with my choice of fabric and I've been working on the fingers and I finished one of the leaves and I really like this a lot so far um, I think this might be one of my favorite designs that I did as a cross stitch chart and yeah the variegations on these are showing really well which i'm super happy about and i really like the pairing of these two colors so yeah i'm super happy with everything with this project so i think i'm done stitching for tonight but i'll probably work on this again tomorrow So I just finished her dress on this side and also her purple shawl with the two krennics and then I just worked on this part with the same krennic and yeah so I'm gonna go back and finish her arm and the dress here. So yeah there's not that much to do just her arm, her dress and then there's a bunch of beads here and also down here um, but I'm kind of looking forward to that because I don't think I've done any beading like this in a while so I'm gonna try to get as much stitching done tonight and tomorrow and then I also worked on my other project so let me show you that so I have some park threads here and I'm also using the matching needle minder and then let me zoom in because I think it looks really small on my screen so I started on this heart in the corner and finish the middle finger and start it on the ring finger. Um, so right now I'm just working on these two projects and yeah super happy with how these two projects are going. Um, I feel like I might have two finishes by next week which is really exciting. Um, I might focus more on my evergreen angel just because it's more closer to a finish. So it is the next day and I'm almost finished. I got everything done except for this little bit on her dress and then also the bottom area here and a bit of chronic on her sleeves and oh her hands I forgot to do her hands on each side 
um, just a couple of stitches there and yeah I feel like I might be able to finish the cross stitches for sure by tonight and I'll be able to start the back stitching but I don't know if I'll be able to finish all of it because there is a lot of back stitching on it so but I want to at least get it started um so that's that and oh I forgot to show you this yesterday so these are the wings and I took this to the studio to do the cutting because the paper flies everywhere when I work on the cutting so I thought it would be better to do the cutting at the studio so it looks like this and this is gonna go behind the angel like this so obviously it's going to be more visible once I cut the brown paper which I'll do that at the studio as well so these are all ready to go and I also worked on my handmade with love project so I finished the gray heart and also the two leaves and the fingers here and tomorrow I'm gonna try to get to the heart on the hand so yeah this is actually really fun to work on and I really like these two colors but I might do another one with a different color palette I'm not sure um, just a thought for now but I think it would be fun to do another one with different colors so yeah but tonight I think I'll work on my angel a little bit more because I'm so close so I might um, maybe I'll come back and check in again and show you my progress on it so I just finished everything and it looks really good and it's already really sparkly with all the critics but it's going to get even more sparklier because I'm going to start the backstitching on her hair and it's backstitched with gold critic. It actually calls for number 8 braid but I'm just going to use number 4 and I feel like it's going to be a lot more manageable to backstitch with number 4 because it's thinner. And also there's a lot of backstitching on her dress, um, the middle section here. Um, really pretty and her hair with the same gold critic. so... I'm gonna start on that right now and then after I get that done tomorrow I'm gonna start beading um, so it calls for two colors and I already had the gold because Brooks Books uses this color a lot in her projects and then I was able to get this um, this brown one because Cindy had sent me a gift card so that I could get all the materials to work on this project so thank you so much again Cindy um, you know I think I think I should name this angel Cindy I don't usually name my projects but this is an angel and it just makes a lot of sense so let me know if that's okay with you Cindy um, because I always think about Cindy and how kind she was to me whenever I work on this project so yeah I'm gonna start working on the back stitching now and I'll probably update you on my progress tomorrow because it's already pretty late so it is Monday and I did finish all of the back stitching last night so I stayed up until 2 in the morning and got all of the back stitching done. And when I got that done, I just wanted to start beading right away, but I forced myself to go to bed. So I'm going to start working on the beading now, but I don't know if you could see it through the camera, but her hair is so sparkly with all the back stitching. And I also did her face too, so she's looking really pretty now. So I'm going to start beading with these two colors. Um, I think I already showed you this, the gold one and the brown. Um, the main is the brown like on her dress and the gold only goes around her arms and a couple of places so I'm gonna get started and I'll come back and show you my finish So I have a finish and I'm super happy with it I actually finished the beading a couple of hours ago, but I can't stop looking at it But I feel like you're not getting the full effect of it through my phone, which is really sad um, I just really like the effect of these clusters of beads and also here so maybe if I do this but I really like that um, and also there are some gold beads here and also on our arms but I think my favorite are the brown beads so this is completely finished um, all I have to do now is just cut and FFO it but I was looking at the chart and the cutting on this is actually a little bit more tedious than my other projects um, like I need to cut in these areas so I might have to use an exacto knife um, I don't think I want to do that with my scissors, so I'm gonna take this to the studio tomorrow and work on that And I also worked on my handmade with love project and as you can see I outlined the hand so that I don't need to do a lot of counting So tomorrow I'm gonna work on the gray heart in the middle and maybe start um, Filling the hand so that's all I did on this project and I was just working on sleeping beauty just a tiny bit so and it's really hard to tell because I just did a couple of stitches so like this green um, oh wait no here this green here 
So I did that and I was going to finish the park threads here, but I don't really feel like stitching white right now. So I think tomorrow uh, when I work on this, I'll just skip over and work on the flowers on this section because I feel like working with a lot of colors. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow, but yeah, I'm super happy that I finally finished one of my angels. So I'm going to do the cutting tomorrow, but I'll do the actual FFO this weekend when I have more time. But yeah, I can't wait to FFO this and hang it with my other angels. I think it'll look really pretty together. So I have all of my pieces here for Cindy, my evergreen angel. Um, so here's the angel that I've cut and it was a little tedious and difficult to cut it really clean, especially like in these corners, but I think it looks okay. And then I have the wings here, so it'll go right here behind the angel like this. And then I have the other pieces here, her hair piece with the tiny leaves and the red cardinal that she's gonna hold. Um, so yeah, this is all ready to be FFO'd, which I'll do this weekend, and if I can, I'll try to finish this before that and FFO this too, but I don't think I could finish this by this weekend, so I'm not, I'm not gonna push myself too much with this, um, but either way, I'm gonna be FFOing the angel this weekend. And yeah, so with this, I worked on just filling in the hand and started a little bit on the gray heart. And I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with it. And I also worked on my Sleeping Beauty earlier. So let me get that. So here's my progress. Just a tiny bit um, around this bit here. Um, I have some park threads here, which I'll do when I come back to this. But I started working on the flowers here, or the green parts of it. So it's going to look like this when it's finished. Um, a bit of confetti, but not too much. But yeah, this is a really pretty chart and I really like a lot of the Mirabilia's designs and this is my first time stitching one on a 40 count and I really want to start another one on a 40 count because I like the effect of it so much. But I'm going to work on bringing down my number of whips first and then think about starting another Mirabilia. So yeah, but I'm going to work on these two projects this week I think and I didn't get to work on my unicorn. Um, but I think I'll just put that away for now and bring it back out next month. But I'm still gonna have my nightmare out because I'm planning on working on this again pretty soon. Um, probably next week. So, yeah, I think that's all the update on my projects. And I'm going to put up the PDF chart for this on my Etsy. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who visited my shop and I'm checking with the post office every day to see if there's any changes in the restrictions um, for international shipping but not yet so but I'm still posting updates about my shop on my Instagram account so if you want to be updated daily you can follow me there and I also want to say to one of my subscribers and to her son actually um, Michelle's son Logan I just want to say that your mom's famous <laughs> so yeah, that's everything for this video. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!